Hey there guys, Azure Squad here with some more Mobile Suit Gundam Battle Operations video. This is the second retake because I had some better understanding analysis of this uh, Mobile Suit, the current promotion, the GP01, uh, what was the name? Zyphantus? No, Zyphantus. Zyphantus. I forgot the spelling. If I remember the spelling, I could easily say it, but, um, uh, here is the mobile suit, sorry it's a little bright um, yeah the mobile suit looks ugly in the uh, mobile suit Gundam Battle, Battle Operation game but in the mod the models, the real ga real grade models and all those things, they, looks, they look really good if you haven't looked at them, recently a, a model kit came out real great during July, uh, late July which is also the reason why we have this in Mobile Suit Gundam in cooperation with that. So, st let's start off with GP01's um, basics, the stats. It's a general type, general purpose mobile suit, very well round based, like very very rounded in anything, it's very uh, universal and uh, diverse in what it does. It costs 500, uh, co 500 points in a match every time you die which is insanely high and that is the ceiling at the moment the h highest cost mobile suit capable I'm not sure if they have made the level 2 or the level 3 or so anything like that um, as you can see by the looks you can tell that it's a pretty tall mobile suit it's a pretty tall and wide mobile suit it's got you can tell by the legs by the shape of the legs that it's got pretty decent pretty decent um, mobility and uh, balancing as also the shield is pretty good you can tell by the looks as well for the uh, beam rifle and the jetpacks on the back you can tell by the looks of it How, uh, so to validate the uh, facts we need facts the HP is 17,000 that is insane 17,000 HP that's like you uh, just uh, it's like you don't ever you literally don't ever find a level one mobile suit or a level four mobile suits with so much HP. So now the ballistic and uh, beam resistance is seventy nine, which is very high. Usually it's like thirty, thirty something to fifty, sixty. This is seventy nine at level one. Melee resistance 90 at level 1, which is also very good. Uh, it's not that super good. Because, uh, actually, no, it is pretty good. Shooting correction, one, uh, 105. Melee correction, 105. That is insane. You usually get around 30 to 80, depending on uh, 80. If you get 30 to 60, if you're a support unit, most likely you'll get 80. And you can jump, you can raise it up to like 100 by buying like paid paid stuff and all the same. Walking speed 251. That is like Gran Turismo style. You're walking, your your walk feels like you're running. The thrusters are 135. That is pretty good, not bad, not like a cam first, but pretty good. Good thruster power. And I'm not sure the length because I haven't used the mobile suit. I have seen the mobile suit in action. I haven't fought it yet, but I do believe the weaknesses and everything by playing along with it. I could and looking at the stats and its capabilities. Now we can generalize the stats that it has is as good as a level six mobile suit. A paid mobile suit, a level five, level six mobile suit. So at level one, this is insanely strong. However, the drawbacks are it has absolutely no slots that you can add parts to. Which means, since it has no slots, the most common weaknesses is the legs. If you ever fight a GP01, first thing you want to do shoot the leg. Once you shoot the leg, see how much damage it takes, uh, shoot it a couple times, see if it burns up or not. 
if the leg doesn't burn up, that means you know he has used yen or something to upgrade the slots on the top and put level one h uh, level one leg armor, which is crucial to this mobile suit if you want to leave long. To any mobile suit, to be honest, it is a common tactics. It's a brilliant tactics. It's very ruthless and powerful to take out the legs and win. Now, it, what what happens is. I would. I'm going to sh show you a little bit of the description of this mobile suit to the slide. Not that. That's the description in Japanese. I'm sorry, I'm not very, very good in Japanese, so I cannot talk. Also, I forgot to mention the uh, skill sets. The skill sets. On top is level three, uh, high performance balancer. It is. It means that when you dash and then la stop dashing instead of having to stop like a support tab and you're dragging your feet on the ground trying to get your balance the higher the level of the performance balancer the faster your recovery time is when you land on your feet so level 3 that means you would hardly skip on the ground it's got a level 3 emergency evadance I believe that is no, that's a level. Yeah, that is a level three. Now I cannot tell you the difference between a level one, level two, and level three. But uh, what I, it's got uh, what I can say is emergency evidence means you can dodge roll, and the dodge roll is the very same as an RX seventy eight, meaning you do a, ba a barrel barrel roll on the ground. Then you have. I am not sure about that. But the one below that is for radar. It is like a support unit, like a sniper. What happens is that the radar, it's an upgraded radar. It gives you longer range, wider radius of, uh, longer radius of your proximity to loc locate enemy on your radar and see the health gauge of your enemies, meaning you know where they're coming from and everything before they even know you might be over there. Like a support unit would even through walls you might be you, you are most likely going to be easily seeing them on your radar and the HP bar that they have below that is the melee swing level 1 meaning you can swing your sword twice at level 2 you can swing it three times if you don't have a, a, le a level 1 j just a standard one that means it's just if you have a melee weapon it's going to swing once below that I am not sure those two the two those two skills that I'm not sure is that now the weapons and then I'll t talk to you about what kind of builds to make with this thing builds I mean what kind of par parts you use so here's a little secret if you have a mobile suit and you don't know how to actually see the stats of uh, the weapons you go into this a, we a mobile suit that you can go and then press L1 or R1, see? Now I'm on the GP01. GP01 beam rifle. It's a special beam rifle for the GP01. It has single fire, fire rate, meaning it shoots once, then uh, rebolts itself like a sniper rifle or a beam spray gun, but not. it doesn't shoot as fast as a beam spray gun. But those spray guns are, are called spray gun because it shoots really fast. It has pretty, pretty good solid damage, 2,500, and you can shoot it twice before it redlines itself. It's got a range of 500, which is pretty, almost like a sniper rifle. Let's see, the Alex has a 400, that is more than us, Alex. This Miller weapon has 2,800 damage. Now, 2,800 damage is incredibly high, more than most melee, work, melee mobile suits as well, or general purpose mobile suit that has a melee weapon, so it is, it might even be more than the GAN. Um, let's check right now, hopefully I do have a GAN on this. 350 is fixing, yeah I never finished the fixing this one. I don't think I have a GAN on this. Oh no, this is a GAN. GAN has 
2700 but the problem with the yen is it just the first one is a uh, slice not a slice I mean a uh, the, the yen's first swing is um, a little it's like a what should I say forward thrust with a little uh, slash but the second and the third hits are thrusting so it's easily evadable but the GP01 has the same swings as the regular LA and all those other ones do now it is a uh, uh, well as we know this is the strongest melee weapon available as for being the strongest we melee weapon it, it also has two swings meaning it can uh, if you hit him twice it's going to do 5600 damage that is insane you can kill a Zuda with it two hits from a melee weapon Zuda's dead or, or even two hits from this rifle, you could kill LAs and everything. Like Zaku two, Zaku one, two one two hits from a melee weapon, or maybe even like one hit from this and a melee weapon is dead. For the Vulcans, it's the standard Arts Federation Force head Vulcans. Thirty, uh, it does thirty damage. It's uh, what was the uh, what was it? Thirty millimeter. I believe so. 30 millimeter uh, rounds, 150 me uh, 180 meter ra uh, range. Not that. That's not like very long distance. That's pretty close. It's like uh, two times the size of the uh, GPO one. It's got a very decent clip size of 80. So when you redline your uh, beam rifle and you want to keep on hitting them with the Vulcans you can do that or you hit them with a the uh, beam rifle and then change immediately to your Vulcans and keep on hitting them to do keep on putting pressure onto them or lure them onto one side or the other so hoping they'll fall for the trap by seeing that you're shooting Vulcans at them and he's gonna move left and right as a panic Vulcans might be uh, very weak but they're very useful they're excellent for killing pilots like warpaws, pilots and everything. Also, so um, so, um, yeah. Basically, when you're redlining your beam rifle and uh, you don't want to get close quarter and use your sword because you're afraid you might get stunned or you might get countered or you might hit someone that's just friendly, use your Vulcans. That's all I can say. Use a Vulcan. Now, the uh, shield. It is by far one of the most excellent shield I have ever seen in the game. Perhaps the best, possibly the best actually. 3500 HP, meaning it can take a Jelgu cannon, make a particle blast, and still not get hit and damaged so much because the shield is 3500. The Jelgu cannon does 3500, and if it hits it, it's gonna blow up, even though if it's with the 120% damage boost for being a support type the Jogu cannon on a general purpose it's just gonna take the shield off not your HP part I mean mobile suit HP so pretty good very very good mo uh, now with that said the weapons and stuff if you are planning to go into combat without any parts attached one thing I'm going to say at first is don't do it you're gonna cost your team a lot of money you're gonna be easy unless you're very skillful that's that's the most important thing see which is also the reason why they put a rank restriction on this thing the rank required to use this mobile suit after the promotion is lieutenant colonel meaning rank 11 level 5 that's the requirement you have to be an elite soldier to actually maximize this or even use this to, to be honest uh, some may be at that rank but not a great pilot but still you're if you're ever to reach that rank means you should be experienced in this game at least be able to beat on noobs or noobs or anything <laughs> I must say this is the most strongest model set at the moment now back to piloting this without any parts. If you're to pilot this without any parts, first thing for it is never get close quarter if there's more than one enemy. Keep your range from any enemy that has shotguns, bazookas, or storm 